In this video, we're going to cover how to set up your categories for your songs, links and adverts and start mass uploading content or individual items to build your station. So let's jump straight in. Your Myriad Cloud System will come with some predefined categories for songs, links and adverts, but it's a good idea to check them before you start uploading content as the last thing you want to do is upload a whole bunch of songs and then realize that you need to reclassify them into a different category. Although there is mass change facilities in the system, so it's not the end of the world. So let's go to the, in the dashboard, let's click on the launch pad. The launch pad gives you access to all of the modules inside Myriad anywhere. And the one we want to use is media management and security. The reason we want to go into this module is this is the module that has um, the, all the settings and other things that you want to do that aren't directly related to an action, but more a case of uh, just changing the settings. So the one we want is the categories and attributes. So I'm going to click on that. And here you can see the categories and attributes that have come with the system uh, by default. And if you're happy with these, that's fine. But if you want to add more, so let's say I wanted to add a polka category, click on add new category. It's been added to the bottom there. I give it a name and that's it. And then I just click on save. You'll also see that we also have uh, types, genders, eras, and tax. Now, what access you have to these will depend on whether you have um, Schedule Plus, which is included with the Pro packages, but not the standard packages. If you don't have Schedule Plus, you would just have category names and tag names. If you have Schedule Plus, you do add types, genders, and eras to that list. Um, so going through types, genders, and eras, you can go in, you can add new uh, types, new genders, and eras into there. Um, and tags, which everyone has, you can just add in new tags. So a classic tag might be um, love songs uh, and tags can be applied to songs. Uh, you can pl apply as many songs, as, uh, as many tags as you like to songs. Okay, so that's added that new tag. Uh, and again, I'm just gonna hit save. The reason that it closed down is every time you make a change to the settings like that, it has to reload the database. So um, it's best to make a bunch of changes and then click on save afterwards. You can see we can move on to links. Links is the name we use for jingles in all Myriad uh, applications. So you can see you've got the same sort of thing, uh, categories, types, genders, and areas if you have schedule plus and tag names. And then same thing in adverts, we've got different types of adverts um, categories and the tag names in here are a little bit different these are what we call collision tags so let's say you've got two adverts one for Ford and one for Vauxhall you would have an automotive uh, collision tag and you tick that on both of the adverts and then the system knows it shouldn't schedule those next to each other in and we'll try and put them in separate advert breaks finally you've got some news categories as well so if you're happy with the categories, then it's time to start adding some content. And to do that, what we're going to do is go back to the launch pad. And this time we're going to pick on media management. Media management allows you to manage all the content that's on your system as well as upload content. And because we want to upload some content, we want to uh, use the media import wizard. Here you can see the import wizard. Now all we have to do is go find the files we wish to import. So I'm just gonna go and uh, go into songs and I've got a few songs here. So I'm just gonna select a couple of them and drag them into this area here where it says drag and drop files. And as you can see, it's popped the, the songs in there. Now I want to set these to be songs because I know they're songs and these all came from the pop category for me as well. So I'm just going to go in and say they're all pop and then you click on start and the system will then assign the next empty media items um, for that have been designated for that particular media type in this case song and upload them. And as part of the upload, it also uh, tops them, i.e. removes silence from the beginning, normalizes them and uh, we'll also uh, Im import all of the metadata that's included in the files if there's any metadata. 
obviously depending on how quick your internet is and how much you're uploading it can take a little bit uh it can take some time if you're uploading lots and lots of songs um so we might speed up this part of the video just to move things along as each item is uploaded the title and artist is filled in from the metadata on the audio file so if we wanted to um, view these items in a bit more detail, we could uh, go to the little media library and this shows us the, the, the content we have on our system. So as you can see, I've got uh, my songs I just uploaded there. And if I want to edit one of them or check it out, I can highlight it, click on the edit button, click on load preview will show me the, the audio file. Um, and from here, I can set the intro and extra. I can set the hooks. I can set the start and ends. I can go into categories and set primary and secondary categories and also tick any tags that I want to apply to this song. I can go into the restrictions section and say when this song should or shouldn't be scheduled. So if it wasn't suitable for our daytime listeners, we could simply not allow it to schedule from um, six in the morning through to six at night. And we can set a uh, start and end date. So um, you can also set your copyright details in here if you need to. Um, add some notes and there are many other fields that we can uh, you can put in onto the other so you can have some custom fields year of release album um, that type of thing um, so in this video we've shown you how to create some categories and how to start to upload um, some songs uh, let's also add a, a couple of jingles and a couple of adverts and uh, so that we've got everything we need to start scheduling Rather than use the media import wizard, this time I'm just going to add a single jingle and a single advert using the add link and add advert options. So let's do the link first, click on add link, click on browse and go looking for where you keep your content. So let's go into my jingle section here and into this sweeper here. Um, we can also then say which particular type of item it is. And then if we uh, want to, we can also preset the category. Uh, we're going to let Myriad determine the content, uh, the name and the artist and thing from the metadata. I'm just going to tick the option for open and media for editing after. Click on save and import and the system uploads it. And here you can see we've got the, 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 um, the media file is now uh, available. So if we need to change anything with it, we can. We can download the, um, the audio file and the, the waveform and we can preview it, set the intro, set the extra, anything else we want to do. Um, so that's uh, adding a link. Let's add an advert as well, though, because um, it's useful to see that. So this time around, I'm going to choose a different piece of audio. This audio isn't actually an advert, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this video. Um, so as you can see, I've, I've got that. Uh, it's uploaded. I'm going to set the category here and I'm going to ask it again to open the media item after importing. Um, and I can also set the collision tags here. So if this was a car one, I could also do that if I wanted to. Um, click on save and import and uh, that will then upload that media item and bring it up. Now what's different about adverts is that if this advert is enabled for scheduling in here, you have to say how many times in a week, uh, every hour of the day you want it to play. So let's say simply, I just want to play it once an hour, every single uh, hour of the week from today through to uh, the end of the month. And, um, and I just hit save. And that advert is now added to the system. Now I'm going to go off and add a few more songs, a few more links um, and stuff to the system so that when we come back for the next video, we've got enough content to actually look at scheduling. Thanks for watching.